now it is Saturday, May 29th, about 5 o'clock in the evening, so about uh, 17 hours into the day. Did my gaming, did a little bit of meditation. Uh, and now I'm heading off to my parents' house. Uh, these last two days, uh, Friday and now even most of today, have been really unusual uh, in that uh, I'm back in an altered state again. The all their states seem to be triggered by fatigue. <laughs> the more tired I am, and, the, and even after I sleep, my body remains fatigued. Uh, the all state remains. So that's how I'm leaving now. Uh, I'm off my mark with usually it's 3 3 uh, 3 30. Today was uh, 4.35 o'clock, so <laughs> that's uh, kind of uh, we're about an hour behind schedule, but that's alright. The workload for today is going to be a little light. I don't plan to do any more of the deep dive research until maybe later on tonight. We'll see what ends up happening. But uh, apparently we do have both successfully working the two blogs, the road blog, which is, which, is, which is this blog, and we have the Our Life of Cyborg Alpha, uh, the main blog, just so off, uh, uh, now back and functioning again. I'm editing the next uh, upload, the next, uh, up, yeah, the, next, uh, the next edition, if you will. And, uh, yeah, the thing seems to be going pretty well. Although the bike seems a little sluggish today. I don't know why, but anyways. The bike's still on, but uh, it seems a little sluggish, that's all. Got to wait for this light here. sort of see what the issue is when I get to my place. Maybe it's in the wrong gear. It just seems a little sluggish. But then we're going uphill and that does cause an issue, a bit of an issue. The uphill rides are a little problematic because it requires a little more effort, energy, energy a little more effort. And I am 230 pounds so uh, that could add to the sluggishness. So we'll see what happens over the hill here. It's nice to take a couple of days off. I enjoy the, uh, the the YouTube stroll. Uh, one of the things about the YouTube stroll that I like is, is it's like visiting people, and you get to sort of visit and see how they are. And uh, it's only for like a half hour or something like that. Unless of course 
you get them gone by in a while, then you spend a little longer because you're catching up on all the different uh, episodes that you missed or the different vlogs and you can sort of see what they're doing and how things are going uh, things like that but by the way, I'm flooring it but I'm still not going as fast as I was going uh, uh, a couple of days ago so well just like yeah a couple of days ago I was riding on Thursday and it's Saturday <laughs> Here we go again, forgetting the days. I forgot to put my headlights on. I don't know why I did that, but I did it. Oh yeah, Friday was unbelievably cold. It went down to about 37 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So it got very cold. <laughs> Ironically enough, we got these documentary channels uh, popping up on Instagram uh, talking about the dangers of global warming. Well, it's June. Well, almost June. A couple days from June. And yesterday was 38 degrees Fahrenheit and <laughs> so much for global warming. Wait till it's very hot out, and then they'll say, "Oh, global warming." Politicians. People who are paid to be permanently on vacation.
I can't remember whether it's the 29th or the 28th. We're heading our way back. It is about 11 o'clock in the evening. This is the latest of kind of stage at the parents' house. Things, well, today is, was always all delayed today. Everything was delayed. So I'm off by an hour. So, yeah. uh, gotta make sure the kick stands up. So off we go. The chill is back in the air again. Winter conditions. Winter conditions at the end of May. It's kind of a first. Oh. It shouldn't be this cold now. But again, this is what global warming is, right? Right? In the, in the, in the, at the beginning of summer. Below 40 degree weather <laughs> outside. This is what global warming is. This is I see these like, things on Instagram. Our Instagram comes through there. They're, they're these supposed charities tugging on your heartstrings about global warming and saving the earth. Well, wait a minute here, it's freezing cold outside. But again, people are anxious to share this stuff and don't realize they're being hacked. Well, this is, it's all over the place. And if it's not from the left, it's also from the right. Lionel Brown does his bit at freaking people out. Oh, you gotta protect yourself from the internet. Well. Not to protect yourself from the uh, on the internet because a large chunk of the threat actually comes from your dear old government. It has nothing to do with the internet. But the thing is, the more they can get people to scream about things, the more money they can make, the more they go. They went on tour to have a speaking tour to speak at different places, to have an audience to go pay to go see them. Oh, this is all about making money. If you don't have anything to talk about, what, why do I go listen to Lionel LeBron? Let's go see. Well, you know, he's on tour. For what? To listen to him, you see how comical he is? He's like, you know, well, he's not, he's not necessarily a, a, a like George Carlin or anything like that. <laughs> but, I don't know, maybe he likes to, he likes to think like that, but he is a, sort of a George Carlin. about some of the actors in these shows, particularly if you like one show about the 1800s, you know, that they're all these doing these sort of things from the BBC. You'll see them in one series where they're pretty good at their character from an old time, from, from, from you know, from an old age, and then they do these sort of, sort of independent theater things. I should have slowed down earlier. And they kind of suck at it.
And the thing is, your 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 primary instinct is, well, did I think this was once good? <laughs> uh. Uh. Okay. A lot of your sense of comedy and sense of humor. really depends on how you see life. If you feel life kind of sucks, then you're not going to think things, a lot of things are going to be funny. But uh, if you think, well, at the same time, if you think you're the greatest thing on earth, you know, the greatest thing intellectual and everybody else is stupid, well, you know, uh, then everything else is going to be stupid. You're really not going to like much. But it is interesting to see other people's perspectives. Even when your your own perspective is, uh, well, burnt out. <laughs> so that's the way I'm feeling this weekend. This weekend I've been completely burnt out. Uh, slow down a lot of different things. Some of the deep research, some of the deep dive uh, research I've been doing, has to be put on hold for a bit. Uh, there's no mind to do it. I will be pouring off some tea uh, that I had brewing, that I have brewing, cold brew. I'll pour it off tonight and then go to bed. I probably have to do some gaming as well. Uh. But my parents are, fr are fans of the thing called Britbox. We've gone through most of the stuff on TV uh, on the on, on Britbox that's half decent, but what are you doing? Good. Yeah, I know. Did you rig that up yourself? The seat, yeah. They came without the seat, and I got the seat myself. This is this is from one seat company, and this is from the second one that has a better spring. How fast does that thing go? Uh, I can do up to 50 kilometers. Oh, cool. Oh, I can speak it, though. Yeah. All right, take it easy. Have a good day. Someone with an electric bike. My, 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 my scooter is a hack. <clears throat> and a lot of people like the way I hack my scooter, so I can sit on it. The seat is very, very comfortable. It's got nice, uh, nice rings. A wide seat rather than a narrow seat that goes up your butt. My parents are fans of, as I say before, my, my parents are fans of Gripbox. And after a while, Gripbox gets a little 
tedious. You can only take so much of the accent. If I'm doing 45, these guys, and the speed limit is 50, these guys must be going a lot faster, probably like 65, 70. Seconds of common courtesy. <laughs> that's what, that's a, you know, on the road, it has to be like that. I mean, I mean, you don't always have to be rushing to point, from point A to point B. Whenever I get to point B, that's okay with me. Some guys, they have a need for speed. Thank <laughs> you.